Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I'm on Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. It's Friday, so it is weigh-in day, it is a WW Workshop topic day. We're gonna talk about the new Weight Watchers program that was released on Monday of this week. I've actually put out two videos on the new plan. I'll link both of those down below for you. If you haven't seen them, highly recommend it's going to answer all of your questions and then some, so definitely check those out. And we're gonna set some goals moving into the week of Thanksgiving, which can be a really challenging week for us. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories highly recommend, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. There's a lot of good stuff coming out as we end out the year and a lot of exciting things happening for the new year. So definitely come and join our group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into the WW Workshop topic, the new plan, my way in, and set some goals for the week of Thanksgiving. had an amazing week. I had a really, really good week. I felt very focused this week, focused on my activity, focused on my food, focused on getting in my water and doing a lot of planning for the Thanksgiving holiday. Like I mentioned in a previous weigh-in video, my goal is to finish this year out strong. I'm not giving up because we're in the midst of the holiday season. I still want to stick to my goals and do my best to reach the goals that I set for myself by the end of the year. Don't forget, I will have a 2022 goal recap video, a 2023 goal video, and we'll put together my vision board for the next year, which I'm super excited about. I went to boot camp three days this week. I went and lifted heavy weights at the gym. I took my walks. I really killed it with my exercise focused on my water, which was something that had been lacking a little bit for me. So I'm really back to amping up my water game and staying within my calories, hitting my protein goal every day. Overall, it was a super, super successful week. But before we talk about my weigh-in, we've got to talk about this week's WW Workshop topic and some of the changes that have happened with Weight Watchers. Like I said on Monday, Weight Watchers released the new Weight Watchers program. For those of us that attend in-person workshops, it's called premium. For those of us that attend virtual online workshops or are online only members, it's called core, but it's the same program. It's the Weight Watchers program. Everybody has the same zero point foods now. Most of our points increase our dailies and our weeklies. We no longer earn points for water and vegetables. We still earn points for activity. There's a lot of changes that have happened with the new Weight Watchers program. So again, don't forget to check out the two videos that I've put out. They're very in depth. They will answer all of your questions and they are both linked down below for you. This week's topic I really like. This is how to learn lessons from your past for your future success. Did you ever want want someone to tell you what to do exactly step by step how to reach your goals that person is you by looking back on the past things you've done right things you've done wrong is what's going to help you create a successful future so the person that can tell you how to reach your goals is you think back to the past months or months and reflect on your successes and your setbacks let's first talk about successes maybe you started a new exercise routine what changes did you make and how i now wake up earlier for a workout class and go to bed earlier instead of scrolling TikTok. How are these changes helping your journey now? I have more energy and I get to add points to my budget. Then let's think about our setbacks. I tend to go over budget on nights out. What's getting in your way? It's hard to resist high point food and drinks. How can you alter your approach? Plan and pre-track my order, save my weekly points, or eat a snack before leaving home. You guys know that my fitness routine, my exercise routine is just part of my life. And let me tell you, I get up at 4 a.m. most days of the week to get in that exercise. There are also times that I just want to be in bed. It's cold. I'm comfy. I just want to hit the snooze. But we make time for what's important to us. We make what's important to us our focus. And for me, that's my fitness routine. So I get out of bed. I drink a little coffee. I get dressed and I head out the door to freeze outside doing boot camp three days a week, walking to the gym, lifting heavy weights. When we focus on our goals 
it makes things a little bit easier to do. Those are some of the successes. And if you have setbacks in that area, think about what you can do to change those into success. Also look ahead to a goal you want to achieve in the next month or so. Maybe you want to meal prep lunches and save points for nights out. What obstacles might you face? Maybe there's a lack of time. When you reach your goal, you'll feel proud, accomplished, and glad to have the extra points to spend. Then we're gonna move ahead by taking one specific step towards that goal this week. Baby steps, one little step. What lessons from the past wins and challenges could help you? I'll rethink how I spend time so I have more time to meal prep and plan. Or maybe I'll go to bed a little bit earlier so when 4 a.m. comes around, it's not so hard to get up. Think about what you've done right. Take those same tactics and put those on the things that you have setbacks with or the things you wish you could improve. Reflecting on accomplishments and what got you there can really help you overcome all of your obstacles. So again, we want to finish this year strong and thinking about one thing that you've been successful at and taking all of those components and pieces, putting them on something maybe you're not so successful with, can turn that setback into another success and will help you finish the year out strong. So for the next few weeks, we're gonna talk about tips and tricks to do just that, which is exactly what I've been talking about, how it's important for me to finish 2022 strong, get as many goals checked off the list as possible, and then think about the goals that I wanna set for next year, focusing on the success that I've had this year. So let's jump into my weigh-in because that's what we're all here for. We wanna know how things are going. If you saw last week's weigh-in video, I maintained my weight. I wasn't mad about it. I typically lose weight every week, so a week of maintenance was not a bad thing at all. And like I said, it could have been a mix of things. It could have been the foods that I ate. It could have been soreness from working out lack of enough water. I mean, who knows what the maintenance came from, but I wasn't upset about it. Knowing that I maintained my weight last week kind of gave me that little bit of extra fire under my butt to be even more successful this week and successful this week I was. When I stepped on the scale, I am down one pound on the nose. 1.000 on the nose. I am down an additional pound, which I was absolutely thrilled about because honestly, most of the week, I was the same weight as I was last week. I thought maybe I was entering into a little bit of a stall in my weight loss, which is common as we get closer to our weight loss goal. And I thought maybe I'll just be maintaining my weight for the next few weeks, which would have been completely fine for me. So I was pleasantly surprised that when I stepped on the scale, I'm down another pound and one more pound closer to reaching my goals and finishing this year out strong. I will go ahead and pop up here on the screen how much I have lost total, which blows my mind still to this day. I've lost a standard size woman. That's crazy, so crazy. Literally, when I think about it to this day, it still flabbergasts me. I mean, I'm super proud of myself. I've worked really hard, it has not been easy, but it still blows my mind when I see that number. So now I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week? What do you think about this whole focusing on success to help with setbacks? Are you on track to finish the year out strong or did this put that little fire under your behind to finish this year out strong? Let me know everything down in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a weigh in every Friday. And of course, I upload those five videos every single week. Check out Nutrition Coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come and join our Facebook group. Lots and lots going on as we round out the year and move into next year. All of that is down in the description box for you. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you have an amazing, amazing day and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.